How can we design assessments to support and evaluate student performance in experiential learning? Given the complex and dynamic nature of experiential learning opportunities, how is it possible to design and sequence formative and summative assessments to support and evaluate each student's unique experience and performance? This unpredictability can be part of what makes experiential learning so powerful for students because it asks them to draw upon what they know and apply it in order to address real requirements. Because of its applied nature, EL opportunities give instructors a chance to help students acquire a firm grasp on the links between theory and practice, results and processes, and thinking and action. Through planning and consultation, students, instructors, and industry or community service partners can collaborate to ensure timely and transformative assessments of learning. D-E-A-L stands for Describe, Evaluate, and Articulate Learning. Uh, so taking, taking the reflection in that phased, structured way seemed to help students uh, begin to integrate classroom learning with their experience and also separate those moments from uh, the, of the observation of what they did from the more analytical moments where they're trying to evaluate what, what happened. And then uh, articulating learning is about identifying the significance of what they learn for themselves uh, or for uh, notions of civic engagement more broadly. So the students are evaluated exactly the same as they would if it was a fake project. So the rubric that I would use for any of these projects stands the same. The, I'll have to be more flexible in timing because the client doesn't always meet the deadlines that they set out, but everything else remains exactly the same. And it allows you to kind of move up the taxonomy. So I'm never grading on whether they know something or whether they understand it. It's always what their analysis was, what their application was, how they conducted the assessment. And I'll not only be able to see the final product in their work, but I'll have been able to observe the, the pieces and the inputs in. So I observe the way that they interact on site. I observe the way they speak to the client. And so I can provide a lot more in-depth work than if they had run off and done the project separately. Is out of the uh marks that are allocated to the simulation, only a relatively small percentage, only about one-sixth of the grades, are actually tied to how you perform in the simulation. Most of the grades are around reflection upon doing it, pres presentations about your strategy, status reports, um, great elements of that nature that are not at all tied to your performance. It's more about, okay, have you thought about your performance? Can you critically analyze what you've done? Can you look at your decisions and understand why the results uh, came as they did.